give him a break. Today's verse is taken from Hebrews 13, verses 1 and 2. Keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. Don't forget to show hospitality to strangers, for some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing it. I pass by it every time I go to the grocery store. There's a funeral home on the right-hand side of the road about halfway into town. When the parking lot is full, I know a funeral is going on. When I see one or two cars there, I figure a family has gathered to make funeral arrangements. I usually just see cars there, not people. But one day, when I was driving into town, I noticed a car pulling out of the lot. A middle-aged woman was driving, and an elderly, hunched-over man sat in the passenger seat. My guess was that they had just made funeral arrangements for his wife and her mom. What struck me was how very sad they looked, sad and tired. And I thought, whatever strangers they encounter today, no one will know what they're going through. If she drives too slow and gets honked at, the irritated driver won't know that she's exhausted or why. If he goes into a store and a group of teenagers rush by him, bumping into him, they won't know to stop and make sure that he's okay. I have a friend who's an elementary school teacher, and she has a neat sign hanging in her classroom. It's a reminder to her students that they should always treat people with kindness. The quote says, Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. There's a lot of truth to that, isn't there? Although everyone's battle may not be hard right now, we all have battles to fight at one time or another. And since we don't always know what's going on in other people's lives, shouldn't we always treat them with kindness, just in case? That girl who wasn't watching when she was going into the hall and knocked your books out of your arms? Her parents are getting a divorce. That boy who snapped at you during recess? His dad just lost his job. That elderly woman who was too slow at the grocery checkout when you were in a hurry? She has arthritis and every movement hurts. Your teacher who seemed a bit cranky today? His mom was diagnosed with terminal disease. So don't they deserve a break? Don't they deserve our kindness? Yes, I believe they do. They deserve it because when we're hurting, we want to be treated with kindness too. And they deserve it because they're also God's children.